Luca, still number one. DeAndre Ayton closing the gap. Trey Young falling off. Jaron Jackson Jr. rising to the occasion. All that more on this week's top five. Stay tuned. Back again with another top five rookies of the week. Let's get right into it. Honorable mentions this week. Alonzo Trier had a pretty down week. Nine points, three rebounds, two assists. Um, yeah, so he didn't actually crack the top five. It was kind of hard this week to do the top five because there was a lot of guys that took a step back. So all their numbers were kind of jumbled in together. Um, so what we did, um, like I said, it... I could have went any of the top, probably the four or five, and they could have all been honorable mentions, but we got to have a top five, right? Bruh. Coming in this week at number five, Trey Young. Horrible week. Average six points, six assists, and two rebounds. What? Trey fell from the top three, so he came in at number five. Number four. Wendell Carter Jr., who averaged nine points, six rebounds, and a block a game, had an okay week. He comes in at number four. I know this is bad. I know. Really? It gets a little better. Coming in at number three, we have Jaron Jackson Jr. He's starting to arrive. He's starting to show that talent that we saw in Summer League in the preseason. He's... He's playing a lot better now. I think he's getting comfortable. The game is slowing down. Jaron Jackson Jr. averaged 15 points, five rebounds, and one assist for the week. Very good week for Mr. Jackson, and hopefully he can keep getting better. Number two, DeAndre Ayton, 17 points and eight rebounds for the week. Pretty good week for the top pick in the draft. Um, he's been pretty solid all year. Hasn't had too many down weeks. Um, but yeah, another good week for um, DeAndre Ayton. With that being said, there can only be one. Coming in at number one for the third week in a row, Luka Doncic, 16 points, seven rebounds, three assists. I'm not going to say he's the runaway rookie of the year right now, but he is... He's leading the way right now. Now, obviously, in my polls, he's had the top spot for three weeks straight. Trey Young has had the top spot once. DeAndre Ayton's had it once. So it'll be interesting to see if um, those two guys or any other rookie can claim the top spot because it'll kind of give me an idea where these guys are at. As far as the media, although it's not a science, but we'll see how it goes on. We'll see how my rookie of the years match up with the media's, but that's going to do it, y'all. Um, thanks for tuning in. Um, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. I know I was late with this video. Um, it should have been out um, last week. But, you know, with the holidays, everything was crazy. Um, the only time I have off, extended time, really. Um, so I was able to spend some time with my family, do a little shopping. So what I'll do is I'll drop um, this week's um, top five, uh, probably either today or tomorrow. And so I'll be all caught up. I'll do them all like within the next couple of days. So, But once again, if you're new to the channel, subscribe. See y'all in the next video.